It is that Nabikanu was granted bail. And he was enjoying the bail. Acceding to all the conditions of the bail. He did not jump bail. He remained in Nigeria. His case was to come up sometime in October. But between 14th and 17th of September, 2017, particularly on the 17th, the, particularly on the 14th, the federal government, through Operation Python Dance, a python that never danced against Boko Haram, a python that has never danced against armed bandits, a python that has never danced against kidnappers, a pattern that has never danced against hunger, against quail, against abject penury, a pattern that has never danced against a pilot's economy, pilot's economy, against, against a pattern that never danced against corruption, which has made Nigeria one of the most corrupt nations in the world, number 140. Eight, and the second most corrupt country in West Africa. Nabikanu was in his ancestral home at Afarauko, Ibeko, Umwahia, Abia State, with his family when Operation Python dance, danced, wriggled, and danced sensationally to his ancestral home and bombarded the home like during the civil war between Biafra and Nigeria. And Nabikano barely escaped through the whiskers. He escaped by providence. Had he went immediately and landed in the state of Israel, where he quickly swore to an affidavit that I have been forced to flee from my country. Anytime the federal government gives me the green light, I'm ready to return to face my charges. The father and mother never recovered from this military invasion. They have left 28 innocent Nigerians, mauled down, healed down, killed in cold blood. Then you came here to say he jumped bail? How do you say a person fleeing for his life jumped bail? If Inam the Kanu had been killed in that unprovoked invasion, we won't be here today talking. There will be no, they, they be, because we don't try dead people in the graves. That same God who has been on the throne will continue to be on the throne until Inam the Kanu is released. And even after Inam the Kanu is released, and Inam the Kanu, read my lips. We and shall and must be released in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The reason is simple. There is nothing impossible before God. Anything that God cannot do does not exist. Go and read Genesis 18:15. Go and read Jeremiah 32:27. Behold, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything 